ma, who got the keys to my blood clot? Be ma, big time driller, monkey to gorilla. Who is this woman that I'm seeing in the mirror? Drink 42 and smoke cigar. Name one time where I didn't deliver. Silent figure, I was just on the ends dropping gems with my friends. I got a 3310 and a pack of blems. Then got the gold full black circle back again. Rapping when nothing progressive was happening. Ooh, pain tolerance couldn't break us. Pay homage if you respect how we came up. Cool, cool. Trying to get to the paper, hitting from Jamaica might do me a favor. True, true. Big simmer, dipping ten toes in that ice cold river. Bank got bigger, been a different species. Tunes in a locker, been waiting to unleash these. It's a no show if you can't guarantee fees. I ain't got one threat to consider. Heaven and earth attached to one pillar. One, one. Rest in peace. <coughs> Three, two, one, break. That'll do. That'll do. Um. These right now. No, we don't. Oh, season two. We're Good back. afternoon, everybody. <laughs> we're back. We're I back with we. the intern. Yeah, I say we as if yeah. as if I was part of no, season one. No, we're gonna put you up on the mic now. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you, thank you. Wait, Welcome. wait. I just want to say this season, season two, big things are gonna happen. We're having guests. Big every thing, every single episode. Every episode, we're having guests. New we may not guests. drop as much because scheduling scheduling is tough. Yeah, yeah. We learned that like the past two nights, there's supposed to be somebody else, but they. I mean, I feel bad. I don't. <laughs> to be honest, I don't. I feel bad, but um, it's it's a. Uh, it is what it is. It is well, what it is. I'm I'm honored to be the first one. Yeah, you and, know, and, and we don't were, get sick of me because I'll be back. E- we were I'll talking about this. Oh, yeah. I think it's right that you're the first guest on the second season because you were there throughout all the first. I mean, you you were just part of it. You were in the background yeah. on a couple eating a sandwich. That was a uh, you yeah. experienced our first the deflowering. It was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> no, the deflowering. Um, it's nice to have guests. We also have sound pads now. We pretty lit. <laughs> we didn't hear it because we don't have headphones on, but we know what it is. We know. We're, we know. We'll probably be doing episodes every two weeks. Yeah, uh, that would, that's a fair thing. If you, we can get an extra one in there, or we we'll might break them down, do some other things. We're gonna do a lot more. I think out and about episodes. Yeah, we're gonna see some parts of Miami. And if you have any interesting ideas, don't forget to follow the socials at. 80d underscore radio but you guys already already saw that on the youtube because we have an intro video now we do have an intro video so yeah enjoy that oh and a new intro song and a new we're just new it's just gonna change every season and i think there's like i do love the idea of having seasons though yeah because it's like bringing a new energy to the podcast you can try something different i needed vacation because we were just talking about brother you've been busy traveling and shit true it's yeah. it's it's vacation but it's nice. tiring man now coast you said you had a story oh, i did have a story that. yeah let's just jump into we it could, we could jump right in let's get because you I'm and i just heard for it. it on my trip okay this is why it's, okay it's so really this recent. is recent perfect and i've been telling literally everybody <laughs> I'm let's hear it let's I hear it i literally meet someone i'm like well you won't fucking believe what you, i just heard this weekend is there someone we know no okay mm. I would have liked it a lot more. <laughs> it would have been a lot better. No, no, but no, some, sometimes gossip is good when you don't know the person. All right, That's go, go. You got I don't the know if I would want to know this person. But I was at Central Park with Anto, her friend from Colombia. Her name is Kami, and her, her boyfriend and some of my homies in New York. And we were just gossiping. It was literally just gossip all day, which is a great day. Mm-hmm. If you know me, you know I love that. Yeah. The and cheese she's man. Like, oh, yeah, the cheese man. She's like, bro, you won't even believe what just happened recently. And I was like, oh, God, here we go. Can't wait to hear this. She's like, this girl I know went to a wedding in Spain mm-hmm. of a Spaniard couple. Okay. Okay. And like right after they said, I do. I don't know where the wedding was. I don't know anything about it. But right after they said, I do, husband goes missing, wife. Do they live in Spain? Him. They live in Spain. Okay. I think. Okay. Pretty okay. sure they live in Spain. Gotcha. The wife, it's like before the party, it's before the whole, it's just right after I do. She can't find him. She can't find him. She's looking everywhere, calling, no answer. So she starts opening doors, going door to door. Maybe they're in a hotel. No. I don't know. Door to door. Finally, she opens this door. <laughs> nah. And you won't believe what he's doing. I think I do. You don't. 
He's, he's sucking on his mom's breasts. What? what? Fuck. No. Breastfeeding. Mother. No. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? There's oh, yeah. no way this is a real story. <laughs> I, don't I told to you you wouldn't real. believe it. He was what? breastfeeding. Breastfeeding. Whoa. Hold. No, no. He's not breastfeeding well, because she's yeah. definitely not. No milk. She's puffing powder. Yeah. <laughs> what, what <laughs> <the> Concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> I told Dude. you. So he's just sucking on her titty. It would be, I mean, weird to breastfeed. But well, it's also how long did they know each other? That's why I want to jump to that question. I don't know. I literally Does told that her. Does matter? How do you not stumble across, oh, I suck my mom's tit in like two years of knowing <laughs> no, somebody? He's, true. he's hiding it, obviously. But not for how well. Long? I don't know, but you would have to assume years. Also, I told I told Anto's friend, I was like, get, get an update and literally let me know. I need to know what's Are happening. Are they still together? I think they... They That's just to gotta be like top five worst times to find that out too. Like the day of the wedding, and you come out of the wedding, you're freshly married, and you're like, "What the fuck?" Like I've known you for three or four years. Like I'm just imagining it with Sammy. I've been dating Sammy for like almost four years, and it, it, like day of wedding day, I go upstairs in the hotel and I see Sam like doing some crazy shit like that. Like that's not, do you even? That's not even cheating. That's cheating. I think it should be illegal. I, yeah, it's definitely. It's I is don't that know. legal? Most definitely frowned upon. I, yeah, there's no shot that it's like. I I, you can marry your cousin in Florida. You're like your first cousin. I have it's a first cousin. Yeah, oh, that baby's gonna come out a little bit funky. Yeah, that's weird. Or it's gonna be a super athlete. So I was. I just I'm told kidding. my my friends. Totally this, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I told my friends this story on on Monday on the way to paddle, and the conversation took a turn, and they were like, "But what would you?" think if you saw your girlfriend or wife making out with her sister if, if her sister was super hot like would you be okay with that it, mm. <sighs> i'm gonna be honest i do think it's weirder with the mom and its son oh, of course. That, the that's, son and I, the mom is a little bit weirder i, I just mean, don't even know but what the sister's th- definitely weird any any weird thing yeah. like that happens on wedding day i immediately look in the mirror and i'm like oh my fucking god the part, <laughs> the part that gets I me it's get like myself into? you they said I do break and then going to the reception's like here let me power up for the night let me get some breast milk in me Dude, it's, what? That's, that's like the weirdest he, pedia light you can possibly go for he definitely what is he trying to do <laughs> what hangover is he trying to prevent with a little tit milk yeah I don't get it I, I don't, don't like understand it. what don't. was the break how do you go about hey mom <laughs> no I think it's like a fixation and to be honest it, like, I don't know this person, but the mom probably groomed him as a kid. I if we're being ask. real, the mom probably well, had been we, doing that do his whole life. we know if the mom has big tits? They've got to be big. That's they, assumed. It's just a fact. I feel like that's just that assumed. It's got to be a it, fact. I, right? But like, they're, they're huge. Not, that's so weird. <laughs> 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 I mean, that's the line in the sand. If they would... <laughs> no, if it's a double D, it's chilling. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, that's a... That's, uh, I'm this crazy, dude. Crazy. Okay. okay, how do, how, how do you know these people? Me. You don't have to name don't names, them. but I, I just need them. to know, like, your friend Adel's knows a friend. friend's friend went to the wedding. Friend's friend, and she, okay. You have a fun friend's friend story? This is, so this has come down, a lot, like, a ladder. This is, yeah. I it's mean, A couple phone knows? calls. I'm taking it as truth. I want it to be. It, it most certainly is truth I for me right for now. I don't for the girl, but I want it to be for all of us. Yeah, so, so what's the point? Do you leave after that? No, you like, leave. You leave. You leave. You leave. You leave because yeah. what? Because then at that point it's like, what else do I not what know? What is about the you? equally equivalent weird thing a girl could do? No, a girl could be sucking on her mom's titties too. Yeah, I definitely think it's weirder. <laughs> I don't even want to say what I just thought. That would be weirder. I know what you're doing. It's I so like much it. weirder. If it's other way around, it's fucking weird, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's the word we talked about, like to catch a predator. That is predator shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. I guess that's the double standard. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of like, other ways around here, right? Yeah, no, that's a... Because oh. her dad. What? <laughs> no, 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 no. I was about to say, honestly, she doesn't leave. If she does some weird stuff like that, then it's like, you obviously are together for a reason. No, 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 no. It's an it's a instant divorce. How do you it's hide it for that world's long? World's shortest Dude, imagine marriage. her dad. Her dad hears about this, because if you've heard about it, because... His, her parents have definitely yeah. heard about it, and her dad being like, he just paid for this immaculate wedding. I'm assuming it's in Spain. Oh yeah, and no, that's my thought like, too. He's like, I didn't even like this kid at first, but you know, I gave him a chance. He wanted to marry my daughter, 
And all right, I give him a, you know, I'll throw him a bone. All of a sudden, he pays for this nice wedding. It's all the whole extended family, his whole family there. Because at the I end can. of the day, a wedding is the dad's party. Yes. Like, it, it most thank certainly you for is. that. You always yeah. say thank you to the bride's yeah, yeah. dad. Yeah. And um, I mean, all of a sudden, she's like, Dad, hysterically crying. He's like, what's wrong? It's your wedding day. And she's like, Richard's upstairs. And I just opened the door, and he was sucking on his mom's titty. <laughs> And it's like I told you, what wild. the fuck? What did I tell you? You know, you I could, would shoot that kid. <laughs> Nobody could have ever. Guess I wouldn't is, hurt a fly. You know, you could beat somebody up that still sucks on their mom's tit. Uh-huh. Like, you know no, they're they're not. maybe it's I'm going, get over your pussy. <laughs> get over your mama's boy. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> this poor guy. <laughs> weird, weird, weird. I don't, weird I, people, I don't know weird if I feel people bad for they're him. They're so weird. That's why I, now I'm even more curious. So they live in Spain because if they don't live in Spain and they're among us, and I'm like I'm in the elevator one day and there's a guy that sucks on his mom's titty, and he just no one knows. I saw somebody not bre- even his wife. I saw somebody breastfeeding on the Bright Line the other day. How old? To cut, it was like, like I don't know, a little bit older, and it was enough to like, oh, that's give me a number two within five years. Two? two? Yeah. That's I don't know. not within five years. Yeah, but the, the thing is, I, five and under. I struggle uh, okay. extremely hard to tell a kid's age. Yeah. I don't know if they're three yeah. months old or seven years old. I, I have no idea. I, I don't, don't know the difference. I don't think really come across All kids that much. steroids they're putting in our food. Right. Those kids. By three, they're driving cars. <laughs> <laughs> and still sucking tits. It's <laughs> fucking... <laughs> By three, they're playing D one basketball. <laughs> I'm I'm so maybe his maybe his girl wasn't giving him what he needed, and he had no. to resort to his to his mother. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if he was sucking on tits until how old are these people? Do we know? Like probably, probably late twenties. Late twenties. Yeah. Too old. What? Uh, way they, way too old. Twenty four. Has to maybe. be into some other weird shit. I'm not trying to kink shame here, but how does this not? I don't know. I, I don't know. They don't know. they. Homelander does do that in the boys <laughs> that show on the Amazon. Yes. Like his fixation, he's like a badass. He's this whole, you know, like he's the hero. He's also the bad guy. He's the strongest one of all of them. And his like fixation is just sucking on his mom's tits. I'm dead serious. Yeah, no, I, I remember saying and that. He, he like calls them milk and stuff like that. She's that- like, do you need a glass of milk? And he has like daydream moments. And that's at the point I had recommended that show to so many people. And weird stuff started happening. Like, there's a scene yeah, where a guy yeah, yeah. The, gets it, small and he goes into a penis and he sneezes and explodes and kills a guy. And you're just like, what? and it's so graphic. And I, it, that was the start of season three. And I had just texted, like, my dad saying, dude, you got to watch this show, The Boys. It's really good. Everything. It's on Amazon. And that scene happened. And I immediately looked down at my phone after I sent it and was like, fuck. I just recommend it at, like to ten different people, honestly. <laughs> and there's like weird shit like that all the time. Yeah. No, I, I I try to watch at least like four or five episodes before I recommend something because then yeah. you recommend it. No, it's I a watched two show. seasons. Uh, in- That's what I'm saying. I, I gave it time. I didn't think the boys was that funny in the beginning. I didn't either, it. but it got better. It's and good. I don't think I'm gonna watch it. Nah, you should. It, it's all right. I the mean, it, if you're into weird shit. <laughs> the, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you're into weird stuff, I mean, it works. No, it is a good show. It's about superheroes, but they're all fucked up. No, no, see, I, I can't watch superhero the movies. The best part about it is the Dolphins running back, who comes back this week against the Raiders. This will air during that game, maybe. Yeah. Or in the morning, hopefully. That'd be cool. Um, <laughs> his name is spelled A-Chain, and the superhero in it is A-Train. I like that. So mm. it's kind of like, but it's A-Chan. But yeah, it's A-Chan. he's just being difficult when he says that. Yeah. It's definitely a chain. It's spelled A C H A N E. I saw that him and his mom pronounced their name differently. Ah. She pronounces a chain. He pronounces a chan. That's that's another weird thing. But. He wants to be Jackie Chan. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, depending on the circumstances, I will pronounce my name differently. Like if it is for a menu, or not a menu. If it's for a reservation, I'll say Rafool because it's spelled like that. But if it's like in a conversation, like Rayful. I, oh god I have noticed that yeah, I have noticed like, you'll say your name different like that ways. and I hate people like, people will say like Raphael someone says <laughs> Rasul and I was like there's no like, S R- in there. Rasul Douglas that's Rasool. the only Rasul I've ever heard of in oh, my life somebody this is completely <laughs> off topic but somebody the other day ordered daily bread to the office Fire. Yes. and they were like this place I guess one of their friends parents own it okay and I was like I've heard a lot about daily bread 
Do it's they want to the sponsor? Shit. You've I, never been? They, he's actually he's going to come on the podcast. Really? Hunter, not the, the guy. Owner? No, 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 no. But his, Hunter, he own his. No, book. his like friend does it. The okay. first source, not the. the Do they want to sponsor that episode and give us a free meal, That'd and we'll just review it. Dope. Yeah. Well, we wait. Have, you've never had. No, Daily I did. Bread? I had Daily Bread for the oh, first time okay. actually before one of our last episodes. He lives by the one in the Gables. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know there was two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're in the in Grove, Pinecrest. right? No, no, no. No. I never, I never ended up moving. Technically in Brickle right now. Yeah. Coast is a nomad. He's kind of homeless right now. That's cool. Catch me under the bridge. You want to hear something funny? Fuse game bridge. <laughs> you want to hear something funny? My, uh, someone just won money on Gus Edwards' first touchdown. And they won a lot. But um, my billing address on all my credit cards and debit card is still our Same. old apartment. Same. I need to change it. I should do it. And I just never think about it at the right time. I do everything to my parents' address. Because uh-huh. I just move around That's so much. Way, I just yeah. don't feel like it. Like everything goes very there. true. It's not worth it. I'm looking Very at true. the things I wrote down. I don't think any of them are really funny. Except I lost my keys the other day. Yeah. Have you lost Ooh. your keys before? Oh, that sounds like a nightmare. No. I don't have a key. Sorry, brother. Tesla. You have a oh, house key? No, I was thinking house keys. House key? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I lost my house keys inside my apartment. House key's worse than oh, losing that's car key. I know, but it's like... Yeah, house key's the worst. There's the stages of losing your keys. And the best part is I, I did lose it in my apartment, but I'm looking around. I have two sets. I was lucky. I'm like... I have one that has my gym fob on it and the other one that's just like an extra set of keys. And I was using that one. I'm like, where did those go? Like you look at your normal places and it's like, okay, I'll check the couch. I'll check this, check that. And then it's not there. And then you're like, okay, well, where are the one off places? Like the weird places. And I'm always afraid that I threw my keys away. I have never thrown my keys away, (laughs) but I am constantly afraid I threw them away. That would be fucking terrible because then they're gone. There's no hope there. And then then it's coming to the idea that like, oh. You call a locksmith. Yeah, but bro, you, you know what your mistake is? What? You can't have both your sets in your house. You either need to give one to a close friend or relative, or you hide the second one outside your apartment. Because if you lock yourself out, then you're screwed. Wait, yeah, you're your on the first lock? floor. You can put it like one outside That's somewhere. That's true. Does your door lock automatically from the outside? No. Oh, so you can't leave mm-hmm. without the door locking. Yeah, I have to lock it. Oh, okay. So it's fine if you leave two inside. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. No, so those, seems all right. Yeah, no, but it, it's just a pain in the ass. Then you yeah. have to go through the realization like I'm going to do a deep ass clean to find these keys. You start checking all the crazy. Like I checked the fridge. I checked the shower. I don't know why my keys would be in the shower, but that ADD shit. Yeah. Like I wouldn't put it past me. Dude, honestly, being a locksmith, this is I'm fixated on this in my mind right now. Being a locksmith is probably one of those skills that are really good to have in an apocalyptic scenario. <laughs> you can buy those practice locks to break. So like how yeah, to pick. No. And yeah, like you can get the kit and everything. Mm-hmm. I don't know how. You don't know how. You don't know how. I know. I have a friend that does it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I think I could be that friend. The best doors are the doors with the electronic key codes. Do you? Though. Yeah. But how long does it take to learn how to pick a lock? Probably. A f- There's different types of locks, different tumbler My mechanisms. understanding is you just go through and you push everything up and then you... Sh- do that I don't like the way you use your yeah, finger. Yeah, no. Do that one more time? <laughs> no. I think I'd be good at it. <laughs> Uh, no, if there was a zombie apocalypse, what's your uh, what's your like skill you think you bring to the table? No, I think it's about to be locksmithing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm actually after this episode, I'm gonna order a kid on Amazon order, and just start practicing. By it? next episode, mark my words, I will know how to pick a lock. I'll try to get if it's not too expensive, like one of write those that fake down, locks. Write that yeah. We're writing that down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I also had another thing. I wrote. I thought pregnant girls <laughs> always hold their belly to ensure everyone knows they are pregnant and not chubby. Have you ever noticed that? Do you think it's weird to go up to a pregnant lady and just like hand on belly? Yes, absolutely. Like Buddha. That, that's yeah. extremely strange. Is it? Yeah. yeah, incredibly. That's very odd. No, my friend. Let me my friend it did it. And I no, he didn't. Like, that's so weird of you. Your friend did that? No. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, where's he from? <laughs> I'm kidding. Jesus. Actually, my mom has done that though. I think it's different if a it's woman does a it. Woman, yeah. You kind of sense that, or a guy. I don't know. Yeah. There was a lady that was like clearly eight months pregnant at my office, and I refused to like acknowledge because nobody had officially told me that she was pregnant. And she was eight months. It, she was in there. She was She's deep, ready to pop. Yeah. Then yeah. uh, I wasn't about to be like, oh, when's it due? Never gonna do that you one. Can never ask. Yeah, no, that's. I've seen that happen you, in person. You, never ask. I've you gotta wait until you get the baby that. shower invite or something, and if. If you do, nah, I, I just found out guys don't get. Oh wait, let's do a quick music minute. Mm-hmm. Coast, what's oh, your I song? I have a really good song. 
Staying alive. Enjoy this track by the Bee Gees. I could sing it if you want. <laughs> when we come back, when we come back. All right, cool. So we were talking about, like, off air, some tuxes and weddings and stuff. And I'm in full flown, like, full fledged wedding season. Yeah, you are. Were you in between full blown and full fledged? <laughs> yeah. Full flown? Okay. Full flown <laughs> wedding season, bro. But I'm getting, I'm getting all these, like, invites and everything where every attire is different. That's something that they didn't teach me in school. I wish they had, like, a gentleman class. Because uh, I get the invites where it's, like, black tie. Mm-hmm. Formal cocktail. Those are the big three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And cocktail, That's it's the, in the name. Yeah. Like, those are the ones that I'm partying. Yeah, of course. Formal was a great wedding. It was awesome. I liked it. I wore a tie. I don't normally wear ties because cocktail, I feel like, is a suit. Suit, open shirt. Open shirt. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, white button yeah, down yeah, or whatever. Yeah. It's, I'm asking. So, I'm glad you're on the same page. Yep. Formal, what do you wear for formal? Formal, I still wear a suit. suit open <laughs> Uh, really? Yeah, I, I will maybe put on a tie. No, you have to put on a tie. I put on a tie? Of course. Formal suit and tie. Yeah, I suppose. It depends on the people I know. So, from Key West, it's a different type. Yeah, and Key actually, I have of... a, a black tie bit, and they put the exact dress coat on. But the... see, that's the thing. Black tie is like tuxedo. It's yes. Tux. Very deceiving. Why don't they just say tux? Yeah. No good, yeah. Because I guess you can wear a black suit. So the, the on the uh, the what call it the invite it's tuxedo or black suit with bow tie. See, I'm not wearing a fucking bow tie. I'm with sorry, I don't really. I'm not a bow tie. You guy. gotta wear a bow tie with a tux. Yeah. yeah. What are you wearing? A black tie. No, you gotta wear a tie. No, you can wear you a black gotta, tie. You gotta wear. What's so you tie. Can... No. Yeah, but you gotta go with bow tie, bro. You, you can. Bow tie, bro. You can. I go tie. Why are you against a bow tie? I don't like it. it. Doesn't look good on me. I don't even. I don't really love them in general. Yeah, but the thing is, you wear ties a lot for for formal. You wear a tie, so this is your one time to shine in the in the bow tie. Yeah. But I'm, I don't rock a bow tie. I think you pull off a bow tie. I don't think I would. Well, it just depends on. The I don't size. like it. I like a like a skinnier black tie. So if anything, I think you should do with an inch and a half bow tie. Because <clears throat> they have like the two and a half one, the nerdy ass one, mm-hmm. and then the little bit thinner one. That's the one you need. I'll to try it, but I'm just telling you right now. I am not a bow tie guy. Do you know how to tie a bow tie? Nope. Nope. You buy a clip on. Because I'm not a bow tie so guy. It's so much easier to tie than a regular tie. No. Really? Yeah. yeah no. I can tie a regular tie, eyes closed. You just do. Nice a, you cross over and you bend this half one, and you take this other half, pull it over, and tuck it behind. It's really. It's so much easier. Like, like knowing how to tie a tie is a very one. good. Like, there's certain things I keep saying like they don't teach you in school, but if you can yes. tie a good tie, yes, that's a nice trait. Like yeah. That's and, something that you see. It's almost like golf. But, where like golf is uh, like if someone's good at golf, you know they have a pretty good work ethic because golf's not something you can just pick up. Yeah, you can be an athlete and you know hit some good shots, but you're not gonna hit a good round if you're not like putting time in and actually like. I mean, yeah, no, but, you gotta take the time to play golf, and it, it's, it's. But it's like a, if someone's good at golf, you're like they have a good solid work ethic. They can commit to That's something business that'll. Work make them feel like Wait, shit. can I say one thing before we get off the tux topic? Mm-hmm. No, no. Mm-hmm. We can stay on Ray says he can't pull off the bow tie. I don't think anyone can pull off those shiny clown shoes that you wear. The tux shoes? I don't like those. I hate, oh, those I hate too. tux shoes. I hate tux shoes. I bought suede bro. loafers for the for Suede loafers yeah. are the way to go. The, the shiny clown shoes? Yeah, no. What is that? I don't like it. Fuck, well, dude, am I going to have to get some loafers? Yeah. But I just bought black shoes. I can't wear black like leather shoes, can I? No. Well, depend- I well what kind of? I had suede and I got rid of them because I was like, never wear them. I didn't wear any tuxes, but now I'm in wedding. I have, I have I'm a, in the wedding you're chapter gonna need, of my life. You're gonna need some some loafers. Yeah. And they're fun to dance in. Yeah. I love weddings. God, do I love, I love weddings. weddings. You guys have a wedding like, coming up too, bro. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All so destinations. One at the Trump Duro. I have none in Miami. In the near future, really? really? How many do you got coming up? I have five coming up. Four. four. Within what, like six months? Yeah, a year. Literally six months. Yeah. I've got Colombia, Mexico, California, and New Hampshire. Which one are you most excited for and why? Ooh. They may listen to this. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to give you an advice. Here. No, no, I'm just most, in case. I'm most excited for. California, one of my oh, best friends. Where in California? In Sonoma. In oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that'll be a fun time. Bringing my girlfriend out, though. Um, 
So that'll be super fun. That'll be very lit. I, I thought about Anto the other day because I, uh, I saw something about hamsters. Uh -huh. Bro, <laughs> she made me tell this story in New York and the people were <laughs> dying laughing and I'm not kidding. It's one of the worst days I've ever lived in my life. <laughs> that we to tell the story? No. The day they died. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> she, <laughs> Dude, she could never get a dog. Well, she has a dog. Never mind. No, because that was the day that we moved out and she made me bury it in its little Oh, home. yeah. And I was hung over out of my mind. And we had to move out. Everything. Everything did. Jeans and a button down, shoveling. I literally went to Home Depot and I bought a shovel. I took it to Key Biscayne Beach. You Mid buried it on the beach? Midsummer of Miami, 98 degrees. That's disgusting. And I'm there in a shovel and a button down in jeans. In you buried sand? it on the beach in the sand? Yes. Oh my oh god, god. god, dude, what are you doing? Someone's gonna see that. <laughs> it says that. Someone saw that. <laughs> no, 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 someone's gonna be walking and be like, what the fuck? No, I better hope some birds get to it I first. I told her a raccoon for sure about that. Yeah. <laughs> sure, I'm done. It's a long yeah. <laughs> she gets very loud when I say it. Oh, no, the no, raccoon was like, fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen those raccoons at Crandon? Remember it? Uh, yes. Dude. We played. Wait, what? Yes. I haven't heard something. If a raccoon is alive during, or if it's like up and moving during the day, it's, it's rabbit? No. I don't know, man. I stay away from all of them. I do the too, but they run at you, and I'm now that I think of it, I'm like, oh, it could be like a rabbit coon. <laughs> Dude, they will jump in your car if you have the smell of food. It's like it chased, I'm leaving uh, with this. Who is, who is it? Uh, it's just my boy Fed. Fed, yes. <laughs> he no, he, thinks, he no, he doesn't. He tries to feed them, yeah. and they have their little hands, and he literally, literally, he puts food in there. Do they have a dirty little thumbs? hands? Yeah. What? Do they have opposable thumbs? I think so. Raccoons have opposed I don't get near those things. Yeah, they do. They're like monkeys. You can train them to do shit. Nah, nah. Raccoons are kind of like monkey-cat hybrids. I could see you having a raccoon. Oh, that'd be cool. You and your old cow and shit. I see. Yeah, old cow. Old cow. Old cow. Oh, same thing. Not I'll not never come back here. Close enough. I'll, I'll never come back here. Would. If you had a raccoon pet, I'll never come home. Why not? That I don't know. I think it would be kind of sick. No, get one. You just won't see me. I would also like a little alligator. Oh. If you could keep an alligator like that big, where the worst thing in the world it did was take a finger off, <laughs> then I would wear like gloves every time I handled it. I. What about a dog? Though? A dog could take my finger off. Yeah, it, it really could. could. It really no, could. I don't. I don't. What do you mean having a gator and a dog at the same time? No. Uh, Just having. I've thought of that. <laughs> All right, we're in Thanksgiving season. Actually, let's talk a little white trash. Have you guys ever been tased? No. <laughs> I have not. Have you been tased? I have been tased. Well, how was, have you I, been tased? I have not, but I've heard your story. And it's, it's very Wait, fun. was yeah. it willingly or non-willingly? It was like one of those moments of sophomore year of college. I'll just jump into it. Let's sophomore see. year of college, I just come back from summer break. So, you know, like, you know, freshman year, you're, you're dipping your toes in the water. By the end of freshman year, you're like, yeah, dude, this is like... I love college, <laughs> you know what I mean? But it takes a little bit to get into that. It's the first semester. Second semester is like, yep, this is fun, this is fun. And then by the end of the first year, I was like, I can't wait to come back. I come back and we, maybe like third night, my friend's having a party at his house, just having a bunch of people. They live with eight people. So when everyone invites five people, it mm. becomes a party. <clears throat> uh -huh. So we're there chilling and everything. And I think it was being a little devious. <laughs> and my friend was like laying down on his floor like legs open and they, he had like these like duck boots and I like dropped it high enough where it went boom straight it was an overreaction straight on on, an, on his balls and he was nice. like oh. and I was like it, we were messing with the taser at the time Let me, oh, yeah. I forgot to say that like we were fucking around with the taser a little bit he had it and he was like yeah man it's like a million or it's like a million watts or something and we're all like dude that's crazy just Clicking the button for a taser and the sound that it makes <laughs> is like your heart starts beating a little faster. Yeah. You started the video? I think so. Oh, that would be mortifying. I think you did. I think you did. You did? Yeah, we're definitely recording. Perfect. The sound, I just want to make sure because I looked up at the camera for a second, but the sound that a taser makes and feeling it shake like, you know, in your hand, it's like awesome. So we're fucking around with it. I dropped the boot and all of a sudden he goes and grabs the taser. I have never run so fast in my life, like feeling like just like through a group of people in like a house with furniture and everything like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then all of a sudden, boom, got me like lower back butt area. And I didn't like clinch up or anything, but I like moved really quick. And my heart 
I thought it was gonna explode. Really? Do you remember the feeling? Like you like you like have a flashback PTSD? Yeah, and I, I couldn't tell if my well no no, I don't remember the actual like pain, but I remember like the moment like my heart fucking racing. I don't know if my heart probably had a couple beers. No, I don't remember that sure part. I remember it. sober. Sure. No no, I definitely watch. have been drinking some beers. But uh sure. it's college. Come on, college. <laughs> but I don't know if my heart was racing <clears throat> from it like from the adrenaline of getting away or like right when it hit yeah, yeah, yeah. that they like shocked my heart and that's a huge health warning is like you know yeah, yeah, don't yeah. use the taser if you have heart problems and yeah, yeah my god did you seize up no, so you didn't seize up I at did all up. did it leave a burn mark because they're hot at the time like it's it's electricity yeah no burns. no it was through clothes so i don't think it did uh, honestly it was just enough to like boom, and like it hurt really fucking bad and my body jolted in a way that i was like I don't know if it's instinctual to just be like, move from that. You want to like, get taste for the pod? No, absolutely not. No? But I will taste somebody. <laughs> of, of course. Who wouldn't taste somebody? That would be like one of the uh, nice next things. Episode, if I won't be no, no. here, but I'll watch. Taste. <laughs> yeah. If the podcast <laughs> ever hit a point where we could just go on Twitter and be like, who would like to be featured on the episode getting tased? And people would just ding, ding, oh, ding, ding, ding. Great. What a moment in life. That'd be fantastic. <laughs> the content we will create. God, I would love I have to the ideas. Somebody. I just need the following you for that. Vision? I have I the have vision. vision. If you, you want to get it, tased, hit me up. Oh, no. Wow. Casey's asking for it. I'm not going to get tased. Fuck. No, Honestly, I need electricity. I'm glad I got tased at that moment in a safe area and not in the middle of the street by a cop while I was in the middle of a fight or something. Yeah, 100%. So now I know if the tasers yeah, come out, I'm like, yeah, chill. I'm also the one that shoot out. Yeah, oh, yeah. The and they, like, the way stick on worse. Skin. Yeah, they have, like, The little... worst part about them is because they separate. So the idea is to get the prongs as far away from each other as possible. So if they can get you, like, in the thigh and in the shoulder, then the current travels through and it locks everything up. So people squirm you. That sounds... Terrible. Yeah, Dude, yeah. getting tased like that where you just then you can't move. They're fun videos to watch. I'm sorry, I like watching people get tased. Taser, taser, taser. I know, but just but, no, I think I, we should get one. I'm dead serious. I, I'm not even kidding. What are we gonna do with it? Tase. Like if you like if you <laughs> no, want I'm to gonna be get tased. tased. I don't want to get tased. If you want to, you can. I, I don't want Bro, to. Ray, Ray, do you want to? If, I have been tased. If you let me got that you, out of my system. I will let you tase me. No, got it out of my system. Okay, that doesn't I don't think my heart can trying. handle that. I'm, mm, Did you guys say that Casey wasn't there when you got tased, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's only fair you tase each other? All right, Kuz. I'm not going to be here. Oh, who says? You can be a You were here at the thing. beginning oh, of the podcast. You are here at the beginning of season two. Now you're going to be here at the beginning of our segment of being tased. Between Ray's pet raccoon and taser, I'll never <laughs> I will take a taser if for like a, like a special episode. Perfect. <laughs> Look, we, have, negotiating we, list. we have to get like I have to think of what the qualifying round would be. But I'm telling you, you you need to drink before. You're not gonna want to do it sober. I don't sober. think I want to do it Every, sober. Everything is everything is I just more don't. painful sober. It's just it's so so obvious. That sounds really sad. <laughs> no, I was thinking about my dentist this morning when I went. Oh yeah, you, you, oh you no, the back to, has your. Water. I know, I know, I know. You, I got it. You, you have to. Oh, I, oh no, my god, you didn't. That's what I was worried about. What? What? It didn't record. Since when? Oh my god, since I closed it out. What? I was worried about that, like the first 10 seconds of all of that. Wait, we, we didn't record since the break? Mm hmm. It's not that deep. We could just run it back, say the same bullshit. Yeah, and we have, we have the video, but it's fucked. No, 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 hold on. Just play what we lost her. No, like, no, yeah. no. I mean, yeah, we can still do the episode, but I just want to like. You guys have to do bloopers. Uh, uh, you have to do a bloopers. Honestly, Coach. Segment. I really oh, hope it's we coming through the TV now. Yeah, okay. I really hope we don't have a lot of those, though. If no, we but get you, to the point where we can, uh, like, do a blooper reel, yeah. that'd be tight. Yeah. That would get a lot what of time views, is it, anyways? We would have a lot of bloopers. We're, we have so, so many yeah, bloopers. So, yeah, we fucked up. Been by we, I mean me. Um, <laughs> 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 but we're good, but and we're back now. It's cool. The camera does. Is the camera good? 
I mean with like the top of the It's supposed to be but our it does LED look screen. crooked as shit, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a we'll adjust crooked, it. Yeah. For everybody watching on the YouTube, you should watch on YouTube, subscribe on YouTube. It's It's really, really great well, on YouTube. It's like most important right now. If you love us, you'll go to yeah. YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Um but we had left off we were talking about getting drinking alcohol, how it makes everything not hurt as bad. And then you have a fun story about uh a dental yes, procedure, uh, right? Yes. I I went to the dentist today, and my aunt. Shout out my aunt for teaching me this because it's life changing. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't See? know how yeah. much of like a light, like a novel idea this is. Trust me, for those of you who don't like the dentist, which should be ninety five percent of you, like my sister loves it. So does Anto. I th- love the dentist. I'm like psychopaths. I, I like it. I don't mind it. Psychopath. It makes Psychopath. at the end like your teeth feel great. No, your it's, teeth feel yeah. great at the end, but during it, it's. I miserable. should go to the dentist soon. I need to go to the dentist. So I, need I to went go to a today dermatologist. and I. Yeah, that's not as Oops. scary though. The Oops. dentist is a lot. I have a thought about dermatologists, but I want to hear your dermatologist. Dentist. Is probably the best job in the world, honestly. I uh, what? No. Nah. Never get an emergency. Keep going about the dentist. <laughs> I, I, I'll get into it. I have strong feelings. So I went. Okay. I went today, and they're like. Oh my god, you're not scared anymore? And I was like, No, I'm still scared. Why? And they're like, Oh, you don't have your your headphones because they like they know me there or whatever. Uh-huh. I've been going since I was a kid, family friend. And I was like, No, I'm still scared. And and I I think they even know that I drink the alcohol before. I take like two three shots of whiskey right before going. That's in. why. But, but I did why it today? Trauma. Childhood trauma. 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 It's like I feel like you breezed over. It. It's like a reoccurring thing. Is like you always wear the headphones. You get. A little yes. tipsy before, and it's yes. all because of some trauma. So what happened was... <laughs> what happened was... I was a wee lad. <laughs> yeah. As, as a young lad, maybe 10, 12, I can't remember, I had a palate expander, which is like that thing that there's like brackets over your top mm-hmm. rollers, mm-hmm. and in between, like side to side, you have a, like a bridge. Uh-huh. So you can't put your tongue to the roof of your mouth. So there's something there that you like used to tighten and I think you like expand your teeth out, whatever. I go like maybe two years later to take it off. I'm like, finally, bro, finally I'm getting this annoying thing out of my mouth. The doctor goes to take it off and he's he's struggling hard to um To remove it? Yeah. To get it out. So he's trying to like melt the glue and I'm like, what's happening? What's happening? I, I started panicking. Yeah. He's like, no, no, like you'll be fine. Starts yanking, bro. And my head starts bobbing <laughs> back and forth. And I'm like, there's something wrong. Yeah. And I look at my mom, holding her hand for sure. No doubt in my mind. And I'm like, we, we got to get out of here. And he's like, no, 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 don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. Rips it out. Oh, my God. Four teeth. Not just the teeth. The whole root. Brother. The whole root. Four teeth. <laughs> Luckily, they were baby teeth, but it doesn't matter. With some tooth fairy teeth. You no see the whole anesthesia, thing. No anesthesia, because it's not yeah. supposed to happen. No warnings. No nothing. Blood everywhere literally literally like spewing out like a fountain oh of my blood God, bro. i'm screaming at the top of my lungs not holding back why should i <laughs> yeah you didn't yeah. <laughs> yeah. blood everywhere gauze for like you three days <laughs> yeah. it was, no it's trauma so how can i go to the dentist now of course not you know that trauma. dentist went home after that and you was drink. like babe you're never gonna fucking believe what i did today <laughs> Like, we're definitely... A lawsuit is coming. Take this to the dentist, everybody. Yeah. Take this to the dentist. Now you just get drunk and you listen to some podcasts. If you guys are at the dentist, listen to the new episode of ADD Radio. Let, let if us you know have if you're trauma at the dentist, at the dentist season two, ADD Radio. Season two, episode one. Season two, episode uno. How bad did it hurt? Bro, screaming at the top of my lungs. Holes in my mouth for, like, weeks. I don't even know if I got stitches or not. I can't remember. I feel remember, like when you... So, the, the taser thing, too. When you said... Or someone <laughs> said, like, about the pain. is like, when you, I drunk. think of the memory, I don't think about, like, how bad the pain was. Well, that's, like, childbirth. Because you were blacked birth. out. Like, I was not blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> I was very... I was not sober, but I could operate motor vehicles. I don't think that's a good measure of how drunk you are. Because... Three or four <laughs> beers. Because <laughs> like, yeah. we've talked about this on the first season. You think, what is it? Five beers and you're still a better driver than Sammy? It depends <laughs> the, no, it depends the time and what it is. <laughs> and that's that's not the bar. <laughs> <laughs> now, hold on. We talked about... Der- that sucks. I've never had a bad dentist experience. Mm-hmm. I Except they try and talk to me all the time, which yeah. is fucking annoying. But dermatology... Yeah, you, you think? Try to talk to you. 
Yeah, all weird. the time. And then they put their hands in but their never, fucking mouth. I've talked about this. No, never yes, no. No, it's, it's an it's explanation. A, and then God forbid they say, well, hold on. Don't move your mouth for a second. And it's like, bro, yeah. bro you oh. just like dentists. Every dentist should have a podcast or at least mine because that man can just have a monologue to himself <laughs> where I'm just like eye expressions and eyebrows from like, mm, yeah, yeah. Like, uh huh. Uh-huh. I, I go for my 8 a.m. appointment and I had to get to work. I didn't want to be late. And of course they show up late to the, to the appointment. I was on time. They were late. Mm. And I was like, yo, how much longer? Cause like I have to get to work. Like I have meetings or whatever. And she's like, where do you work? And I have, I, I, Took the, the little mm-hmm. tubes or whatever. The little suction. And I was like, yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah, how much longer? And, and it gets stuck on the side of your like, mouth. Oh, we're almost done. We're almost done. Puts it back. We keep going. Like five minutes later, she goes, where do you work, by the way? And like, what time do you need to be there? I'm like, how can I answer that? Yeah. 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 How can I answer that? Yeah. I'm going to say I need to be back by four. And you're going to say, I just called you a whore. <laughs> yeah. <a> whore? <laughs> <laughs> Hodor. Okay, dude. Like, yeah. Hodor. <laughs> Hodor. Yeah. Wait, I, I want to oh, hear, hear your, your trauma from the... I don't have any trauma with dermatology. dermatology. I'm just curious. Like, I actually... No, I just think it's the best setup. If you're going to have doctor in your name, it's going to be dermatologist because you never get a late night emergency call. But the thing- If you have some crazy rash... Dude, go to the hospital. But do, you well, think this, do you think they're making as much money as these other? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Dermatologists make a ton of money. So. Yeah. Yeah. My question though is like, so because I need to go to a dermatologist, and I don't know, I've never thought about this more. Uh, do they check your asshole? Why would only they ever you, do that? I, if that's why where your issue would, comes from. Why wouldn't they? Yeah. Don't they do a whole? But they do a whole check of your Someone's body. Someone's checking no, somebody no, on your no. asshole. They're like that's you should be your doctor. But why are your real like, doctor, no, not a dermatologist? No, no. They don't, like when you they get your whole. You, why are you here? Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever had get mine checked, checked for everything, like everywhere for like skin cancer. Like what if you get ch- on the inside oh. of your crack? Oh, but not like in the crack. How do you? Okay, that's not even exposed to the sun. I I don't know. I do. I, don't know I know where what crevices but have been exposed. But can't there to the still sun. be skin cancer that develops there? I don't know. I thought it was from the sun. No, I see. This is the thing: is I just don't know. Now this had me bashful about my ass. Do you have to go no, and clean up your I, ass beforehand? This is the thing. They bleach your ass off. A dermatologist isn't like a normal like PCP where you go in for regular checkups. No, no, it's a specialist. If there's something wrong. What does no, PCP you still mean? Gotta, because primary I care physician. Yeah. Primary. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because I had you're, like insurance yeah. and it was like PCP insurance. Yeah. And I was like, That's like your yeah, normal doctor so. where you go for regular checkups. Yeah. You don't yeah. go to the dermatologist for regular check. Oh, no, but I don't you got to go like once a year or so to get your skin checked. I never go. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you should. I think I got a little mole here that I'm actually ner- My doctor, I went to a new doctor and he's like, oh yeah, you got shitty skin. I was like, thanks, dog. He goes, I'm like, he goes yeah, it's all messed up. I'm like, I don't Describe think that's shitty. Right? <laughs> no, I'm telling you, he's going to go to his next uh, dermatologist appointment. Mm-hmm. They're going to walk in he's gonna be butt naked in the room yeah he's gonna be like ready Let, I, let's just get this checked <laughs> ready Let, doc you know i don't know i, you I just check the crack it was definitely one of those that i started you. thinking like do you gotta clean up back there like do i gotta i don't know yeah, it just dude. made me think about a lot trim of, the hedges a little bit right do you how do you trim an asshole you guys ever use nair <laughs> No, not for like private parts at all, but like even at all. No, I don't think I've ever put it on my skin, but everyone's no. like, I have burned like all of my arm hair off before, like setting a propane grill off. And it's oh, like, yeah, yeah, boom, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it I smells bad. Right? Have horrible. you ever trimmed up your arms? Horrible. Have you ever shaved them up? No, have you not like that? Harry, have you ever done what? Trimmed up your arms, shaved no, them? No, 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 no. I know somebody that used shaves to do it with their my arms. armpits. I think swimmers because do armpit that, hair is other a lot. Than that, you shave remember. your armpits? No, no, no. Never you shave. You trim it up? I've trimmed it Like them high up. school, at least trimmed a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing lacrosse in the. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't want to look top, like yeah. a. Yeah, no. No, the I knew penny. some. I met some guy that was shaving his arms. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It's pretty weird. He doesn't swim. Mm-hmm. I felt him and I was like, are you. Did it makes me more did, aerodynamic did when I fight. Did you trust him or not? Not really. You can't trust the man. How are you. So in this. But he didn't own up to it. He did or did he not? He did not. I asked him and he didn't say anything. Even weirder. And I was like, there's no way you just have stubbly ass hair that grows have, and falls out. Does he have alopecia? No, I don't think so. Does he have eyebrows? Yeah. Doesn't have alopecia. No. Okay. <laughs> I, I wasn't even sure what alopecia Josh was. Josh Dobbs in the NFL? Hey. There's an NFL quarterback oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. alopecia? Yeah, yeah. Keeps getting me wins. Yeah. They yeah. said my trade was soup. Your trade is soup. Oh, Keeps getting me wins. I hope the he does. The only soon. thing is, how do we tell how long we've been going? Uh, we don't. Okay. Honestly, we have been... Because can't you switch it at the top from bars? Yeah, we have been going for a while. How, how long is a while? I'm honestly afraid to touch anything now. I know. 
let's shall we call it well how long why don't you pause? about 896 bars plus more <laughs> According to my calculations. <laughs> so 896 bars has four beats 900 in it bars. at 120. <laughs> so that would be 439. That's like 35 minutes or so. We're approaching yeah. 900 okay. bars. Um, I don't really have anything good. I had that. I did, oh. Wait, pause. Deleting him. We're back. Pause. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Are you recording? Yeah, this is all in bloopers. We're By the gonna, way, I was going to say bloopers. We're bloopers. Gonna okay. Sorry, let me make sure. I I'm gonna fuck this up. You guys do it without me. Three, two, one. Cool. So yeah, I deleted Hinge. Why? So it's kind of like I, first off, this is big news for you too. Yeah, I know. I was gonna have a strong Q4 too, and I, I needed to update the Excel sheet. And I I, I took another tactic. I reached out. To, I upped the range to 40 year olds. Um, with to what? 40. 40 what miles? Eight years old. Oh, oh, oh I 40 years. Like no, no, no. I don't go outside like, 10 you're, miles. You're I ain't driving that fucking you're going far. Too far. Oh, it's my God. 40 Them 40 year olds have been way more than 40 miles. My <laughs> God. Bro, this guy's about to drive back to Key West. <laughs> nah, dog. No, I. I, I was in Hialeah just... the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I kid, I kid. Uh, it would be Homestead, Hialeah. Ray, not Homestead. If I ever see oh, Ray in Hialeah, I know something's seriously wrong. Yeah. I'm not even sure where me Hialeah Me and Hialeah would actually be like me in a whole different country. You two, you don't speak Spanish. No. But yeah, I'm no, I know For sure. everybody in the me office too, is helping amigo. me. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I've been getting better at it. Uh, so you upped it to 40 years old. Upped it to 40 years old. Ten, it, you know what it is? Is first off, this economy. Dating this economy. Yeah. In this economy? In this economy. Dating? And then this bullshit list comes out about, oh, in bad places to go on a first date. Did yeah. you see this horse shit uh-uh. that people are putting out there? I can tell you right now, a really expensive place is not a good place to go on a first no. date. No. So then my thought is, is okay, so you oh, expect no. to go to a really expensive Wait. place on a first date? So what are you, like, what... You don't even care about just hanging out. No, no, no we've talked about this. You set, you, the, you set right? the standard. You set on the, the first standard. Date. Set the standard. Yeah. Like yeah. I just want to have a good time. Now I'm not saying the Cheesecake Factory is a good first date place. McDonald's, but why are we all so shitting on the Cheesecake Factory? Cheesecake Factory is not the worst. It's, but that's on the list of top 25 places Bro, not to go. I, I could, I could never go there. Anto loves it. You don't like the I Cheesecake Factory? She was like, Yo, on Black Friday, let's go to Sawgrass and we'll eat at the Cheesecake Factory. I'm like. No, bro. You don't wait, like wait, no, factory? hold on. Fuck no, no. Why don't you like? Well, you the don't have to get factory. a gourmet dish there. Just get like. But you have to read six hundred pages before you decide nah. what you want to eat. I'm not Thank eating you. Okay, Do you so like cheesecake. Yeah, but you, you go to okay for that. No, what? that's key that's lime key lime pie. pie, my guy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Cheesecake. No, I don't like cheesecake. Yo, you're no, hitting all kinds of random shit right no, now. No, I don't like cheesecake. Have you ever been in New York? just <laughs> <laughs> no never <laughs> no so okay so the cheesecake i love so there i've talked about this is I don't like cheesecake there is the cheesecake factor or the cheesecake effect when you go to cheesecake factory there is too many things on the menu and you have to and it's just like you're never satisfied with what you got because you could have ordered something else exactly. and whatnot people are starting to agree with me i've told some girls about the cheesecake factory effect and i think hinge has the cheesecake factory effect there are too many options for you to actually enjoy it is yeah. this why you quit yeah but I will say, I saw something Actually, on... Yeah, I because you you're go... You're starting to not enjoy it. Because you go out on a date and you're like, eh, that wasn't all that. I could set up another date three days from now. I could set up a date tonight. If someone doesn't look at the oh menu, God, figure awesome. out what they want really quickly and go, it means they're not decisive. I, I saw this on a podcast clip on TikTok. And those things never lie. If you hear something on a podcast... <laughs> It is always the truth. Facts. Yeah, but bro, what they if basically said it's a bad sign if you go eat with someone on like a first date or like on a business meeting? If they take forever looking at the menu, yeah, then it's like oh, they can't make a quick decision for themselves. Also, this podcast, this whole season is basically this podcast talks about just what we heard on other podcasts. Yeah, that's <laughs> absolutely. There, I saw a podcast somebody started to do updates from all the other podcasts. This is like a Spark Notes. Yeah. Of a podcast. They have an abridged version of podcasts. It's kind of smart. Yeah. I saw something that was so genius, but so stupid. What? This lady made like, I think $15 million in seven days doing advertisements on TikTok. Only fans. And she showed the items for like three seconds Oh, I saw that one. So someone like 
throw her something, she'd yeah, show it and like there's throw her something else. And she like, must have had a following like, beforehand. Wait, what? You didn't like, see this? She would just her? like three she would be seconds standing in front of a up. camera. And like you would throw me like this bottle of alcohol. I'd show it, throw it back. Casey would throw me like this cup and I'd be like, Yeti cup. And then I'd throw it back. Yeah, yeah. And it was like she made fifteen million dollars in seven days. Yeah, it, it's On insane. TikTok. She must have had a following beforehand. Guys, we don't even have to record the rest of this episode. <laughs> I need you all to just leave. start throwing right, things at you. Start throwing shit at me. <laughs> Orchid plant. Six ninety nine. No, it doesn't Miami even start too long. long bro. It goes like way this. Too long. Really? Phone. Yeah. Orchid plant. Shirt. Doesn't buy, even buy get the all. shirt doesn't, all the way out of the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just shows it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe mumbles a thing or two. And it's all in Chinese. Mandarin. Oh, it's Chinese. Yeah, yeah. That just says something about where we're at in the world, dude. Yeah, the cheesecake factory. She got how much money? Fifteen mil in seven days. Oh, in seven days. But that's so. No, no. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> she made a million in like than, yeah less that's, in yeah. half a day. How many videos is she doing? A couple. I don't know. If you give me fifteen million dollars to just hold shit for three seconds for seven days in a row, yeah, okay, I'm. There. I would genuinely like for fifteen million dollars. There are certain things that I would do that I'd be like, I would push my body to limits. I'd they, they never <laughs> Ray, been before. Ray'd be getting tased every day. You know, I would, yeah, I'd wake up if I for fifteen million dollars for seven days straight. I would be woken up by being tased. M- Same, Mr. Beast. Five a.m. Oh, I don't know. And I'd, oh, for fifteen million? Fifteen million dollars in seven days. Oh yeah, days to absolutely, get absolutely. Hey, I just time is temporary, brother. You That's gotta enjoy it while it lasts. Absolutely. I will enjoy that being tased, and by the the last one of getting tased, probably like it a little bit. Oh, and wait. So what's what's your what's your go to now for in, no hinge? Where, where, I, so I'm just gonna try do this whole vibe. wild thing. Go out in the nature, meet He's people. Going old like, That's the going best old way to do it, bro. Absolutely. You know, this is what I talked about though, and this is, might offend some people. And whatever, I'll take the chance of saying it because I've said some other shit. Uh, I'm not from Miami, so coming to Miami and hopping on Hinge was like a almost like a jet fuel into the dating life. Like you get to yeah. meet some people, you get to see things around. It's like doing a Y bomb. Exactly. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna get started into this. Shotgun and into Red Bull. It might be a good idea, might be a bad idea, but we're gonna do it. But I've been here long enough, and I met enough people now, and I know where to go to like yeah. meet people. It's like I don't understand if you've been in Miami five, six years, and you're still on Hinge, like yeah. I think that's more a reflection of your ability to like you meet just, people. You should like have a little fun with it and like go one weekend at a time with a certain, you can call it move, attitude, vibe, yeah. whatever, whatever yeah. have you. You do something special each well, weekend I and you. see what has the most fun. I and d- you should journal it. Was this the, did we? I'm serious. You should journal it and just be like, yeah, this weekend I was. The tactic like, for this weekend. Yeah, no, or yeah. like just this weekend, I spoke in a British accent. <laughs> or this, no, week- no, no, this weekend, I told people I was from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oh, you're only texting, though. They're oh, I thought you were weird. meeting people in the world. No, talking about meeting people in the no, world. just going to the, going to the not, bar. Dude, we can oh, be completely mobile now. We should just take this shit into a bar and be like, hey, we should. where are you from? That's how Casey's going to find his wife. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, are you I single? I have found that Me neither. having <laughs> a chick, they're the best wingmen in the world. Of course. Oh my God, it is insane. The super special episode that we have talked about. Yeah. I kind of want. I want to do it for next episode so badly. When can we do it? I'm I'm excited to watch them listen to Friday. That, one. that one's gonna be a good one. Next. Friday, I ain't got anything going tomorrow Friday? tonight. I might I might be there like behind the scenes. I could I could probably not get part of I the could pod. Probably get. It. Oh, I'm busy tomorrow. Oh. No, not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. No, I mean next Friday. Next That's, Friday, I'm not gonna be here. Black Friday. I'm actually going to Tom Segura. Friday. Really? Yeah, uh, up in West Palm, Fire. like north of there. Oh, you got a Vera wedding. Beach. No, that's the week after. Oh, that is the week after. Yeah, next weekend's Thanksgiving. Oh, you're right. So then, November 29th, we have an episode. We have people coming on. Yeah. And then we can do the following week. That has to be on a weekend. Yeah. Oh, it, that has. It absolutely has to be on a weekend. But we're both on a wedding. Next weekend's Thanksgiving, so you can't get people to go out there. Should that. we just? play cupid i where we just like i get on a little bit and we like stir we stir it and interview both of them you can drop hints too no no we just interview both of them to be like to to hype each other up yes you yeah. interview the yeah, 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 yeah. i'll interview the male uh-huh. to like give good yeah we just interview them when 
next Friday. Should we wrap this episode up? We yeah. can. I but yeah, no, it's been long enough. Yeah, yeah, no. But I'm I'll give you all to watch updates Lamar, give me some on the meeting a uh, bit. on the meeting of chicks. But yeah, hinges hinges out. Cheesecake effect. Wrap Too many up. options. I fucking love Cheesecake Factory. I know. I can't believe you don't. You, you guys go without me. Factory. The go French. Oh, I might order some tonight. All right. All right. Later. Appreciate you guys. Be good or good at it.